Hey, just been working on my audio and video today in preparation for some larger content that I plan to do. I want to throw something together real quick just to test it all out. So today I'm going to talk PHP web shells and how to find them on a potentially compromised server. Okay, so here on the screen we have a simple backdoor PHP script, um, which is a web shell. Um, essentially what you're seeing here is that the block of code is checking to see if the CMD, or in this case command parameter, has been included inside the request. If it has been, then the script is going to store the value of that command parameter inside of the dollar sign command val uh, variable. It's going to pass that to the function system, and then that's going to execute the command um, on the server and return the output inside of the actual web shell inside the attacker's uh, browser. The reason an attacker might use this is to maintain persistence or gain further access to a web server after they've compromised it through either a known vulnerability, misconfiguration, things like that. And they can do privilege escalation, move laterally throughout the network, or just maintain persistence after the vulnerability itself has been patched. Moving over into our uh, backslash var www HTML directory on the Kali Linux server, this is generally the root directory for, um, say, like an Apache web server on a, Ka uh, not a Kali Linux, but a Linux server um, in general. So this is what you would consider the root directory. As you can see here, we have some unusual items inside the root directory. The index with the double de uh, x is uh, PHP, the simple dash backdoor.php, and we also have an images directory here. Um, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is use grep to discover any potential malicious PHP web shells that might be hiding in any of these files or potentially even in an image inside of the metadata. Um, inside the images that are in that folder. Okay, so looking at our grep command here, we're calling sudo. We need that because we're gonna be running underneath the var directory. Um, inside of any of the directories that are below var, you can always run into protected uh, items that need root privileges. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on there just to be safe to make sure that we can read them in case Kali, the user that we're running as, can't. Grep. That's a simple command line utility. It allows you to search for specific patterns um, within files, groups of files, directories, subdirectories, what have you. It's a super powerful tool. The TAC R, that means to um, grep recursively. So we're going to start, as you can see at the end there, with the backslash var backslash www. And then we're going to uh, recursively look for this regex pattern all the way through any of the subdirectories. So that images directory that we saw in there, we're going to check inside that as well. The tac p, that means that we're going to do a Perl style regular expression. Uh, Perl style allows for a little bit more advanced pattern matching. And then the tac lowercase n tells grep to include the uh, line number inside the file that were that matched the regex. Um, that way we know specifically where to find it. Say we had a massive file with thousands of lines, we need to know where that malicious piece of code um, may be hidden inside of it. Following that, we have our actual regular expression. These are all the keywords that we want to look for. Um, as I mentioned, these are going to be most of the words that you're going to look for if you were looking for malicious PHP. Um, there might be some others out there. There might be different ways of invoking things. But for the most part, these are going to catch the majority of PHP web shells. Um, finally, what it's going to say is that if you find any of these words followed by a zero or any more spaces um, and an opening, opening parentheses, then pattern match that. Um, so we're going to run this, we're going to see what we get. And as we can see, the var www HTML index with two x's.php did pattern match off of the xf read data, um, which we kind of figured that uh, index with two x's was going to be malicious. It's unusual to find that in the root directory. Inside of the uh, images directory, we find that the test-image.jpg actually does have a binary um, match. So when grep was looking at that file, it spits out binary because it's a JPEG file. However, somehow inside the metadata, there is a string that matched this regex. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. 
Then inside of back in the root directory in HTML, um, we we already knew simple dash backdoor.php was going to be malicious um, as it's invoking the system function. So inside that image, we can see here that if we just cat that image, you get all this binary data that we can't read as normal humans. But at the top, you can see the metadata that I injected into it, which is actually malicious. Um, we're using base64 and we're calling base64 to code. But in here is an actual command that that index with two X's dot PHP will call to get the data from the test image and it's going to use that test um, image data so the make and model metadata it's going to use that inside of a malicious command so different ways to bypass firewalls to bypass edr things like that by invoking metadata information out of other files stuff like that um, but overall i just wanted to share this with you i found it to be a powerful tool whether that be that you're doing CTFs or whether you're actually out in the real world, you know, analyzing web servers. Um, I've just found this to be overall um, something useful that I thought it would be fun to share.